steal of steals the of the day, man. Come in Neiman Marcus, get y'all 60% off because they're going out of business. 647 from the red bottle. Yeah, I know before I started wearing Louis V, Dior used to be like one of my favorite pair of shoes. I ain't gonna lie, you can't really miss with Dior, bro. Dior is a hard shoe to miss with, bro. I ain't gonna lie, these is trash, though. Yeah, see how we come, we come push down, roll it, pull it. Denim tears, white Air Force One. That's the guy that Jay that put me a hoodie on, but yeah, I still get the point, though. What y'all got going on, man? Sorry to interrupt the video, but I just had to let y'all know this. Like, a lot of people be hitting me up all the time asking me, how can y'all make money? And I'm gonna let y'all know how right now. So it's currently 2.36 at night. I'm about to show y'all, man. Y'all check the time on my phone. It is currently 2.36 right now, man. But I'm about to show y'all how I just cashed out $750 directly into my bank account. So everybody asks me all the time, how do I make money, man? I'm gonna let y'all know it's easy. I'm gonna show y'all right now. It's a couple steps. Just listen to me, hear me click out. Click the link down below inside of my bio. And once you click the link in my bio, this is all you gotta do. It's a couple quick, easy okay, steps. So follow these exact steps and you can earn your award. All you gotta do to earn your award is click on one of my videos and go to my description. You can click on the current video you're watching right now and go to my description. You want to click on the link inside of my description. After clicking on the link, make sure you open it in your browser. When you open it in your browser, click right here so you can open it up in Safari. Once you open it up in Safari, all you got to do is fill out a couple of these quick steps. So you're going to go here. How do you plan to use your account? You want to keep it. Uh, you tell them how much you shop per week. After doing this, it's going to take a little second. You're going to put in your email. Hold up. I'm going to type in my email real quick. Can't show y'all that. Continue. And then from there, you go do the optional survey. All right. It's going to take me a little second to do this. So we're going to fill out the survey. Fill out everything correctly, answer all the questions. And you're a couple steps away from getting your $750 cash reward. So after this, you put in your phone number, you finish filling everything out, and then you're almost to where you gotta be at the end of the road in order to collect your reward. Next, you're gonna do the optional offers. After completing the optional offers, you gotta do two deals. So for the deals, I like to do Dice Dreams, or you can do Live Play Bingo. Both of these are the best ones to do to collect your reward. So all you gotta do is download one game. I usually download two just to make sure I get my money guaranteed. So Click download the game. After downloading the game, you're gonna open it and you're gonna let it run for a little second. So we just gonna sit here, gonna let the game run for a little second. We're gonna play it. Alright, so we're gonna play the game for a little bit, let it run through. Okay, so we started at 2:36. And we finished the surveys and all the deals at about 3 o'clock. And it's 12 minutes later, and I just got another $750, y'all. I'm about to cash it out right now. But it's got a whole nother $750, bro. I told y'all. I told y'all. I finished completing the survey and my deals at about, like, 3 o'clock, bro. It's nothing but... It's nothing but 312, bro. Y'all can see it. It's nothing but 312. Like, bro, my hands are literally shaking. It's only 312. So it's 12 minutes later and my $750 is in my cash app. We is about to literally go shopping with this money tomorrow, man. But y'all folks, just stay tuned, bro. Like I said, bro, this is an easy way to make money, man. All you got to do is click the link in my bio and follow those steps I just showed you. And you too can have $750 reward, man. Yeah, but I'm going to see y'all folks later. All right, y'all. Y'all already know it is Who Cash Man. I am back with another video, man. I told y'all I'm going to be more consistent, so I'm starting to just pick the camera up, you feel me, on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm walking around, out and about and stuff. Right now, we got my cousin waiting downstairs in the parking lot. I don't know about y'all, but me personally, I get ready on my own time because when folks tell you they outside, they don't even be outside for real. And then folks tell you they 10 minutes away and they really be 30 minutes away. So the cash will wait till y'all say y'all here before I get ready. So, to all of my partners that's watching this video, I mean, I don't feel bad, but I was going to say, yeah, I, I get ready when it's when I feel like getting ready, because I used to have niggas telling me they outside, and they be capping me down, and I be all the way outside waiting and shit, nigga ain't even five minutes around the corner, you need to be capping, but yeah, man, finna get dressed real quick so we can head out, you feel me, go do some stuff for the day, probably, uh, you feel me, I, I don't know if I'm going to do no shopping, but my cousin say he want to go to the mall, so I probably do like a little, you feel me, we going to do a window shopping vlog today, ugly, and yeah, probably go get something to eat, you feel me? Kid with my partners, do some entertaining stuff. But right now, we finna get dressed. I'm finna get down, bring y'all with me so we can piece together a little outfit real quick. Let's step into my closet, folks. Hold up. All right, so we is in the closet. Probably the camera up somewhere. We gonna put this right here. I'm really trying to see what I want to wear today. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm kind of indecisive. But 
I don't know, man. I don't know what I want to wear today. This is a hard one. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. If y'all ever seen my closet tour, man, y'all know I got a wide variety of stuff to choose from. I'm trying to expand my collection. It's only gonna get bigger, but y'all gotta give me some time. But yeah, I don't know what I want to wear today, man. I'm trying to figure that shit out. I don't know if I want to go baggy clothes today or if I want to wear, like, you feel me, some skinny jean type shit. You feel me? I don't know. Kind of indecisive. So what I'm gonna do with it, bro? I thought I'm gonna go skinny jean today. I should want to wear baggy clothes. It's hot outside. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. I don't want my neck set swinging and shit like that. Which feel me? I, don't know. I think I might put my Gucci socks on. We are gonna see. But trying down, bro. I'm really looking at my closet and I'm really indecisive about what I want to wear today. If y'all fall be waking up and y'all be having to like try on three different outfits before y'all figure out what y'all want to wear, we the same type of person. Cause I promise you, I put an outfit on. Get ready to step outside the door, and I change my whole entire mind and put on a whole different outfit. But, you know, I'm trying to figure out, like, I'm going to come back to y'all folks when I figure out the pieces I want to wear. But, yeah, man, we finna got down head out for the day. Go do some little cool shit, vibe and shit like that, man. But Casper is back with another daily vlog. I told y'all I'm trying to be, like, more consistent with my day-to-day -day videos and all that stuff. And I'm still doing my shopping vlogs and stuff like that, man. But, yeah, man, I'm going to come back to y'all in a second. All right, y'all. So, yeah, see, I just pieced together some calm for the day. We got the white G phasos, you feel me? We got the... The dental tears with white patches, and then I got my little jacket because it might rain or get cold tonight, you feel me, with a white t-shirt. But yeah, man, it will be wearing today. So I'm like nothing too, too much, you feel me? But I'm finna put it on body, and we gonna see what it look like. So y'all folks, give me a second so I can like put the outfit on and stuff like that. But yeah, man, we finna head out to the mall. I might do a shopping vlog. I don't know if I want to shop today, though, man. We might just window shop. We gonna see, though. I'll come at y'all folks when I put it on, though. Alright y'all, so we in the bathroom real quick, you feel me? We finna throw on some fragrances. I ain't gonna lie, if y'all don't know, bruh, your smell is important, man. Make sure you smell like something good. I can't remember what name of this is, but this is from Dubai. You feel me? I be wearing bike riding and all that stuff. Don't be nigga out here wearing goddamn Dior Sauvage, bruh. That shit played out. I'm a mama, you gonna smell like every other nigga in the planet. It ain't nothing wrong with that, though. If you like that smell, go ahead and wear it, but I ain't gonna lie, you gonna smell like every other nigga on God. But yeah, man, so, hold up. Finna show y'all the outfit in a second. Let me put it down. I gotta put my little glasses and shit on. You feel me? Put my shades on. Down with the shades at. Okay, boom. We got the shades. So let me show y'all how we do this, man. I feel like shades always pull the outfits together. You feel me? Cause like shit, you can have on too much of nothing. You throw on some glasses. You just turn it into that, to that outfit. Like you that guy or something. Okay, so look, y'all. We got the. You feel me? Brown jacket. I wore this in one of my other videos with a different outfit. But we gonna wear it again, cause you feel me? I don't feel like doing too much today. But yeah, we go Air Force Ones, denim tears, jacket, white t-shirt, throwing some shades, you feel me? Look cool, calm, and collective outfit, Tell you feel me? Walk out for the day. But we finna head out, man. So I will see y'all folks when we get to the mall. I come at y'all folks in a second. Yeah, I see how we come. We come bush down, roll it, pull it. Denim tears, white Air Force One. I took out that jacket, I put me a hoodie on, but yeah, I still get the point though. Hey, Sailor Cash, they got this shit on. Y'all yeah, get the point. But we finna head out, folks. I'll get back to y'all. We in the whip. So we in the car with the guy, man. We got that boy, uh, Quandelius Jr. in the back. They glad. That boy got a blunt. All right, I gotta block you out. They glad, dude. We got Lee. Yeah, I'm driving. Face out. Man, we finna go to the mall. Y'all know I told y'all. I'm window shopping today. Look, Cash, I ain't spending shit. Why the fuck she look like that? I'm spending that shit. I ain't spending shit. I'm gonna record him spending this shit today, man. We gonna catch Lil' Bro. We gonna let him get in his bag. <laughs> we gonna let Lil' Bro get in his bag today. They say look, Casper kicking it, man. And it's finna rain today. Look, ugly outside. That's why like a perfect day to go to the mall. Ain't nobody finna be there. She and me. You know folks go retreat and hide in the mall. <laughs> well, yeah, the young niggas say, say the young niggas with they blitz go hide in the mall, man. What are I gonna say though, folks? We got down on the way to the mall though. So I catch y'all folks something more interesting yeah. going on. I get to y'all when we actually there. Yeah, they just they just fucked you over, buddy. Hell, I look like this on camera. Shout out, I look pregnant. Oh god, I don't see a lean or none of that no more. We need a close up. What's going on with my gut? Shotty. <laughs> Shotty got his stomach hanging out and shit. What the fuck? Photographer, man. Shit, not having me looking pregnant in the camera. What the fuck wrong with this young man? Yeah, anyway, bro, that pregnant. This, this picture look crazy, bro. My mama. That's why I chose it. I was tuned in. I was in my mode. That nigga truck look like a fag. You know, when it get hot, niggas get looking gay. They get to lifting their shirts up and shit. This nigga got a truck bent over lifting his shirt. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. What is it about the heat that make niggas like, bro? Niggas be looking strange when it's hot. Nick, niggas get the when it get hot, niggas be bending over and shit, yeah, pulling their shirts up the crop shit. tops. Looking crazy. 
Y'all ain't gonna cap, bro. The heat got them be bringing the zest out of niggas, man. <laughs> oh! Yeah, nigga, uh, All right, so I'm gonna come back to y'all in a second. You know it's certain things we can and can't show on YouTube, and what I'm about to do is one of them, so see y'all later. All right, y'all, so we at the mall right now doing a little quick walkthrough, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie to y'all, it's dead as hell because it's like 6 o'clock and it raining outside. But that's how I like this shit, personally. I don't like going in the mall when this bitch be deep as hell and all y'all ass be in this bitch because, truth be told, I like being a soda, I said soda. I like being a social media personality. You not like but seeing y'all niggas. Yeah, sometimes I don't be feeling like interacting. I know like some, y'all ain't never just been in that mood when y'all don't be wanting to talk sometimes and then they be walking down on you, catching you and shit, you be like, damn. But I fuck all y'all. If y'all see me in person, you feel me, say something. But like I said though, bro, it be certain situations where niggas just be wanting to walk through the mall and you be wanting to feel halfway at normal without a nigga running up on you. Good looking, my brother. Show for show. What I was gonna say though? But yeah, man, see, that's the type of shit I be talking about. Like, I was just walking just then, and somebody said, keep doing your thing, my brother. But I fuck with y'all, though. Y'all be cool as hell, because I'm my mama. Y'all ain't got to support me. Y'all don't got to say nothing to me. And shit, bro, it be cool when niggas, like, recognize what you're doing and got them pay attention to you, because a lot of folks, you feel me, shit, you don't be knowing who be seeing you and who don't. So, to all the people that watch my videos, watch my content, shit like that, shout out to y'all, man, because every time y'all see me, y'all show love, and I fuck with y'all the strong way, the long way. But we've been walking Neiman's. I got down do a little quick browse through. I told y'all I ain't buying shit today. Today I'm on some window shopping shit, but I come back to y'all if I see something interesting or something worth buying in this motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. We in the women's section right now, so we ain't talking about nothing. Cow, bro. Neiman's is funny as hell. Y'all y'all knew what y'all was doing when y'all started serving alcohol. Sex, too. Them folks said, we're going to get you drunk. Y'all going to forget how much money in your bank account. And you going to come in here and splurge that little shit. And then wake up sober and realize that you done fucked up. Because you ain't got your rent money. <laughs> now you got to call your bank and make a dispute. <laughs> Let me say you true. I ain't going to cap to y'all, though, boy. Getting drunk in the mall is crazy while shopping. I'm telling you, bro. Like, look, twin, whole bartender. Y'all fucking him, twin. Y'all think this shit cap. He even got a whole bar in this bro. Y'all think I'm playing? Nigga, nigga ain't no cap. These folks real life being here trying to get down. Get your monies, bro. They said we're going to get you drunk. We're going to sell you these, these new Balenciagas and you're going to buy these Amira jeans and then you're going to get the hell out. <laughs> that shit funny as hell. I wonder if that nigga Terry here. I ain't seen my personal shopper in a minute. But I ain't going to cap to y'all, boy. Every time I come in this bitch, it's somebody got down sitting down getting drunk finna shop their life away. Let me see what type of pieces they have in here today. I wish that boy Terry was here. What the fuck is this? These folks done put a whole game in here now. When the hell they do this? I don't even remember no arcade game being in here last time I was in here. That's new. They said Sass going out of business. We gotta turn this bitch up all the way. They said turn it up all the way. I'm not gonna lie to y'all though, boy. I'm gonna come back to y'all when I get to my favorite section. It's like, who they having some red bottoms in here, Pete? It's so crazy. These look like the ones I wore for prom, but they ain't the exact same one. They a little bit different. Though. Yeah, they done a little like my prom shoes. They a little bit different. Though. It's like, hold up. We got. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. A lot of people be sleeping on red bottoms because this is like some shit folks used to wear like. What? What that was? When I was like 2019, 2021, folks were wearing red bottoms for real? Yeah. So, yeah, man, they like 2019, 2020, but I still fuck with red bottoms. I don't know. I feel like y'all folk lost in the south shit. Say red bottom really have some shit, though. Yeah. You can wear these. We got down your feeling it. Regular clothes. Put these on some skinny jeans. You can wear these as some dress up shoes. You feel me? But I ain't gonna lie though, one thing I'm gonna tell y'all about red bonus is prices on these, I mean these ones at the top on sale, but prices on these don't change. These bitches usually be like 1200 to 2k, what is it? They don't even say it on there. No, like 12. Got it. Hold up. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't know why y'all like lambs. I like some of them, but this colorway is ugly as hell, bro. This silver trash and this bronze. Whoever the fuck came up with this, this is bad. This one cool, this slight. I ain't gonna lie, I like black shoes when it comes to them being big as hell like this, though. I'm gonna wear some big ass lambs, they gotta be all black. They say, hold on, we got some off white Odysseys in here, you feel me? Uh, I miss with off white shoes, but they're probably the only version of off white shoes I wear. I wouldn't wear these, these ain't nothing about it. These cool too, though. I ain't gonna lie. Say these, I'm gonna assume. Night? Them folks told me I couldn't use my camera, so we're gonna record the rest of this shit in Neiman's off of the phone, but. I mean, I don't understand what the difference between the professional cameras and the phone is. They told me I could use a phone, but not a professional camera. They both record. They both do the same thing. So I don't see what the difference is, but we're going to do the rest of this vlog off my phone since they don't want me to use my camera. We'll probably pull the camera back out when we leave them all. But yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about these. But let's see y'all could be missing. 
This shit right here is poop juice. I'm not gonna lie, graffiti effect is ass. These shit's trash. These shits got super glue and Skeetle on them. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Balenciaga be missing me, bro. Balenciaga ain't came out with nothing hard since they came out with like the low top version of these on God. But other than that, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Everything else Balenciaga done came out with is funny. Like these is goofy looking. These look like, I don't know, bro. It's so crazy though, cause somebody will pay 900 for these though, twin. I wouldn't. But somebody will. Hey, <laughs> they say I wouldn't, but somebody will. They say we got house slippers in this motherfucker. How much these is? 750 for the for the bro this shit like a wallet i'm not okay <laughs> bro 750 for the wallet balenciaga sneakers is crazy shouting they got the crop motherfuckers don't play putting them crocs in sports mode <laughs> <laughs> i'm glad they shit like a whole tire tread balenciaga is different bro then they got the spongebob boot motherfuckers say the squeaker squeakies these is crazy oh god spongebob boot these niggas got boots with the label, motherfucker. This is cool, though. These folks is hilarious, bro. I ain't even know Casa. I ain't even know Casablanca had their own shoes. That's crazy. I got shirts, but I ain't know they had their own shoes. These shoes are ugly as hell, though. Casablanca, y'all mess with these. Ew, look at Palm Angel shoes. <laughs> bro, these shoes is goofy, bro. <laughs> Why they say twin? Why they say why they say I can't use a professional camera to record, but I can use my phone? It's the, um, what the fuck is the difference? It's the, um, the shoe that Goofy, uh, Goofy from Mickey Mouse run. Bro, this shit is Goofy as hell, <laughs> nigga. I'm on my mama, these shit is Goofy. These the Goofy ones. <laughs> Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Palm Angels missed with that one. If anybody that uh, is like in the creative, if you a creative director of Palm Angel, hit me up, cause I could come out with something better than that. That shit is high juice, high poop juice. Hold up, what the? No, why is these even in here? I don't even know why these got their own section, bro. This is hot trash. <laughs> Golden goose stepping. Bro, these shits look overworn. You tell me you're not wearing these, bro? Niggas buying pre beat sneakers, bro. <laughs> Oh God, I come beats. out with my own shit, bro. Niggas, I, bro, yeah, I got a bunch of beat ass. My nigga, look at the to oh, twin. Look at the toe box on this bitch. So you gonna tell me a nigga ain't stuck his foot in this and drove this bitch into a soccer nigga ball? Said, nigga said, <laughs> nigga, <laughs> nigga, <laughs> nigga say soccer, soccer ball champion of the year award. These nigga, but that's crazy, twin. Like, bro, designers just realize that y'all will buy anything, bro, and this proves it, bro. Niggas out here buying beat shoes. That shit is crazy. <laughs> yeah, no. Buying pre-beat shoes is crazy. If y'all want to spend five hundred to get some beat shoes, man, See, hit bro. me up, man. I got them for sale. This man. is why I don't Tell wear them. They want some beat shoes. I got like fifty pairs of them in my closet. Y'all okay. buying them for five hundred? Come to me. This is why I don't wear belts. Y'all want some off-white ones? And I ain't talking about Virgil Abloh. Hey, hit me up. Now these belts is crazy, bro. Versace belts is freaky as hell, bro. Nah, bro. Why Versace so freaky though, bro? Like, what is this? These freaky ass belts. That's for older niggas. I spent hundred on some pants. You know, spend old, on you know old niggas like that shit. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Versace freaky They're as hell. Versace come all the way freaky. Versace 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 freaky. How much is the wallet? <laughs> bro, they want 400 for the lighter leash. The, lighter the, wallet, the wallet like 500. The lighter leash for who? They don't even want to show the price tag. On How that. much is the wallet? What? what? <laughs> Where All right, y'all. So we we finna go to the clearance rack and see what we can find on the clearance rack. Sometimes it be some some steals on the clearance rack, and then sometimes it be shit that don't nobody want to buy. So we gonna look at it real quick. Let's see what we can find. This shit like a mirror, like a mirror mix with Rick Owen. I don't gotta do that shit. shit. I ain't gonna lie, mirror shoes is really buns. Them shits bunions. These shits bunions. These the only shoe they ever came out with that was halfway to my You fuck. Bro, I ain't gonna count. Clarence rat me. Bro, these niggas got the Independence Day Balenciaga boot. <laughs> Hold up, man. Bro, I ain't gonna count, nigga. The 50% the 50 off section is crazy. But you know, some folk come to Clarence rat find some shit, though. Like, see? See, this is too big. This is like a size 12, but this is some shit for somebody on a Clarence rat. How much this is? This shit, this bigger than a 12. This a 47. What the fuck is that? 47, like size 14, nigga? 
Hey, hey, boy, whoever could fit a size 47 in designer shoe, you here. <laughs> He's like, whoa. What other do you need out here? A lot of these shits. Ew, these shit ugly <laughs> hell, P. Say the clearance rack inside designer stores be crazy. I'm, 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 it be some bullshit in this one. Oh, nah, these some, this a catch. I don't like the fact it got McQueen on the side of them, but if it was without the McQueen, that'd be a catch, you feel me? They got some stuff in here, but a lot of time, bro, the clearance rack in designer stores gonna have all the shit that been sitting on the shelves that didn't sell. I don't know why these over here. You can catch these what they want for these. They don't even got no price on them, but they on the clearance rack. They probably like $500. Burberry slide, you feel me? Y'all, y'all wanna come get some 50% off, man. Y'all come to the clearance rack, man, you feel me? <laughs> what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna count. I never cared for McQueen's, but these shits the ugly. These shit ugly. Yeah, I ain't gonna count. I never been a McQueen like, nigga, bro. But like fancy McQueen ain't nothing. They clothes cool though. They clothes cool. They really just overhyped up. If you want to be real, I ain't gonna lie. Clarence Rat ain't nothing for a thousand. Ew. Are these shoes or Crocs or slides or? <laughs> Dolce and Gabbana came all the way Freakazoid. <laughs> but like these damn near look like Lambins made these. What this is? Coogee. Burberry? That's surprising. That's Burberry? That's Burberry. Burberry. That's Burberry. <laughs> Fuck. Here you go. Here you go, Lee. Here you cool. What is that? What is that? I mean, this colorway, this colorway freaky as hell, but the shoe cool. So Elite D pair good with the jeans. <laughs> uh, I ain't gonna lie, some hell That boy Elite with the McQueens on? Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> That's not know, it. Before I started wearing Louis V, Dior used to be like one of my favorite pair of shoes. I ain't gonna lie, you can't really miss with Dior's, bro. Dior is a hard shoe to miss with, bro. I ain't gonna lie, these is trash, though. I'm on my mama. These is trash. And I know they probably like 1400 Let's see. What they is, 1200 I figured as much. Yeah, these shit trash. I don't like the I don't like the Dior's that look like Chuck's. If I did get the Dior's that look like Chuck, it gonna have to be them. You feel me? The other ones ain't talking about nothing. I don't really like these. It's so crazy because I damn near have every colorway in these. I ain't never seen these though. The brown one's cool with the gray on them. I bet these 13, 14 after tech, just like the rest of them. These cool too. I ain't never seen these before. It's a whole bunch of Dior's in here I ain't seen before, but some of these I already got, man. Shout out to that boy Terry. Say I got these at the crib, I got them. I wanted those, but I don't never had them in a 42 when I come in here, 43. Let's see what else we got in here, man. Say we got... I wanted these at one point in time, but I don't know if I could pair together an outfit with this. I always left these alone. I don't know why they always got the white shoe on display. If you ever come to, like, designer stores, the white shoes to be on display be beat as hell because nigga be touching these hoes. These nigga done turn these white shoes off-white just from touching them with their hands. What the hell? Y'all know I got these at the crib. I'm finna add more stuff to my Dior collection because my Dior collection is kind of small, but we, we finna start back buying Dior's again. I'm gonna get my Dior collection up there with my uh, Louis V collection sometime soon. I wanna start copying these. I don't really too much care for the B22s no more because I got like 10 pairs of these, but I'm trying to start wearing Dior again. So if I start wearing Dior, I think I'm gonna rack up on these motherfuckers, you feel me? But I ain't gonna count though. These Dior's, these is cool as hell. I know a lot of people got like hate and love relationships for these, but I fuck with these, man. I got these at the house. I ain't gonna lie, these shits is ugly as hell. I'm not gonna lie. I was finna say they was tough, but them shits ugly. So yeah, man. When I start back buying Dior's, I'm not buying B22's no more. We gonna come B30. I think that's what this is. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Ain't this a B30? But yeah, I'm gonna start wearing B30's again. I ain't got no B30s in my collection. So when I start back wearing Dior's, I'm probably caught like five pairs of these or something like that. Today, we just browsing and window shopping. Y'all know I usually go on a little shopping spree, spend me 10K. But today, they say, look, Casper is chilling. I'm finna let my cousin spend his bread. I'm just looking at stuff that I'm gonna buy in the future. We'll probably come back here like next week on Friday or something like that and cash out, do a little 10K shopping spree. But for today, we just browsing and looking, you feel me? No cap, kid. What the hell is this? Ew. Why they ain't got the furry Marnies? These shit's bad. I ain't gonna lie, bro. If it ain't the furry Marnies, them bitches ass. Cause these shits is terrible. I like the furry Marnies, but these shits look like some damn cheap ass swim shoes or something. I follow Marnie though. 
They got Tim Tim Boot from Jimmy Choo. Burberry. They say, man, I know it's summertime, but it ain't ever too late to come to the Montclair section. Really, summertime, the best time to come to the Montclair section because you can find their jackets for 50% off, you feel me? And if y'all didn't know, Montclair makes summer wear too, you feel me? I got, like, some Montclair shorts I'm going to pop out with during the summertime and shit. Y'all see them probably in another video, my little blue Montclair shorts and shit. But, yeah, man, Montclair got shit, man. Come get your winter wear during the summertime so you get a half off, you feel me? Buy, buy you a little buy you a little fourteen hundred dollar Montclair coat for five hundred. Put it inside your closet for a couple months, and then pop out during the winter. Now you just got you a fourteen hundred dollar coat for half off. But yeah, man, you feel me? They got summer shit too, though. You feel me? They got little shirts and shit like that. Like I said, I be having they uh swim trunks and stuff. But shout out to Montclair. This is like my third favorite brand after like Louis Vuitton and Christian Dior and shit like that. But yeah, man. I ain't gonna count. Neiman's ain't talking about shit today. We just finna head to sex. So I see y'all folks in a second. Hey, what I was gonna say? We we back out with the cameraman. I'm leaving out of Neiman's so I can pull my camera back out. They said I couldn't record while I was in Neiman's with a professional camera, but I could use a phone. I don't understand what the difference is. They both do the same thing. They record and you feel me, play back the video. So I don't understand what the difference is between using a phone and a camera, but Neiman said no professional cameras inside of their establishment. You can only record with phones, but we just left out of there so i'm back on the cam i'm finna uh walk in burberry real quick how you doing i don't know how y'all be feeling but if he be running down on me with little smell strips sometimes he should be hot ass how you doing sometimes they be cool sometimes they don't this one was straight but a lot of times bro they be running down on me on fragrances they should be smelling like bare ass so all the people that don't know Burberry ain't got nothing to do with me. That's this kid right here's favorite brand. But yeah, man. I mean, Burberry be having some stuff in here, though. You feel me? They be having a little book bag. You feel me? You come in Burberry, get you a little, uh, you feel me? Get you some, some summer wear. I ain't gonna lie. Burberry is like the designer brand for upcoming fathers and already fathers. In other words, this guy. Say, this that upcoming dad brand. Say, say this that baby shower attire. This that dad on vacation in Hawaii attire. You feel me? <laughs> but yeah, man, I ain't gonna count. Bur Burberry is for is for uh, young dads and fifty plus year old men going on vacation with the fam. <laughs> say I'm on you, little bro. Where your dad fit at, man? I'm putting it together right now. You trying to put together his dad fit right My now? My next man. dad fit for the day. Nah, bro, you trying to go ahead, book a trip to Hawaii and put this on. Come play short with this. <laughs> <laughs> I play with him. You know he nah, they be having, I the they be having the dress shirts, though. They dress shirts. Make sure that it's just tan and red, but. So they dress shirts come right. You know you like slides, leaky my when they get there. I ain't gonna lie, I like that shoe though. That shoe be kinda trippy. Say, if Burberry ain't got nothing, they got some shoes though. I like these. I don't care what color they be. Burberry shoes. Where the fuck them shits? Say, ooh. Now these navy blue ones with the we strap on them all right. The ones that I wore to court, I don't know where the fuck them shits is. Them shits is gone. Shit. They look like this. They look like this one. I ain't gonna lie, Burberry shoes is straight. Burberry shoes is tough, but they, they right. these, clothes. These, I like these. Nah, this new, this new design is hard. I ain't like, look at my next though. Oh, I don't like the colorway. Nah, the colorway on this is ugly as fuck. But the actual design of the shoe is hard. Hell yeah. Burberry, man. These right here are hard too though, I'm not gonna lie. Shut up, Burberry, man. I know a lot of y'all uh, be wearing the, short, the shirts with the holes in it, like the, what is this called, fishnet? If you can pull this off, this is some freaky ass drip. You just gotta wear a shirt under it, you gotta wear a white shirt. But he, he don't even be freaky. They be having their nipples out underneath them. Just a white shirt. You need to get yourself together. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. I don't know if I could wear a fishnet shirt or a shirt with holes in it. If I did, I'd have to wear a t shirt under it. All y'all niggas that be wearing these with no shirt underneath, you freaky as hell. I know your nipples and your stomach catch a hell of air. <laughs> Say, bro, I know your nipples and your stomach catching hella air through that freaky ass shirt. You not slick. <laughs> what I was gonna say though, Burberry cool, but I ain't finna get nothing out of here, man. We finna head to the next location. Pajamas. He said they got pajamas. Burberry sleep attire is crazy and this shit silk. This shit freaky as fuck. I ain't gonna lie, silk clothing. 
Silk clothing is some freaky ass shit on my mom. Silk clothing, fishnet shirts, it's for freaks. <laughs> they say, yeah, man, if y'all got down the type of niggas that hop down on hoes in the mall, I'm not. Cause me personally, I don't like finding females to be in the mall. When you got them hop down on them, they usually be funny acting. Some of them be cool. Let me not say all of them. But some of them be funny acting. I don't be, I don't be too much smelling that. I want me a bit to got down, you feel me? Got a good head on the shoulders, ain't bougie and it's cool. How you doing? But yeah, man, we is in a collectible store right now. I ain't gonna lie, I need to come in here soon so I could buy different pieces for my uh, crib because I'm trying to like get my collection in my crib up there. I ain't gonna lie, though, these shits is hard, bro. But nah, y'all, I'm supposed to be decorating my crib so I could do a house tour sometime soon. I think I'm gonna come in here and grab some of these cars out this store, man. These cars and these action figures cool as hell. To anybody that's looking for a way to fill up space in your crib, bro, buy figurines, bro. They fill up space quick as hell, and they look cool around your house. Like, look at this car. They more going crazy. Yeah, I man, the cars go crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I'm definitely gonna get some of these to go on my house to fill up space, especially, like, the collectible pillows and stuff like that. And the different figurines. Huh? You said Groot is $100. Little Groot is $100? A hundred. That's not bad. I'm trying to decide if I want to buy it or not. Say like little group for a hundred, then we got Batman right here, you feel me? Well yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm definitely gonna fill up all the empty spaces in my house with collectibles and figurines. These shits is cool as hell, I ain't gonna lie. We have that plushies and figurines but down more shit. This is hard, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, man. I'm finna do a house tour soon, but I still got a lot of empty spaces in my crib, so I'm gonna fill up my shelves with collectibles and come buy paintings and stuff. But this is the store to come to, folks. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm definitely finna come in here and give me some calls when I get ready to fill my crib up to do the house tour. But I got a baby Yoda. I ain't gonna lie, baby Yoda almost look real. Yeah, yeah. You got the hair on his head and all. Oh, man, he almost look real. Hold up. I got hair is here outside the mall right now. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It wasn't shit in it, but it wasn't no female. Wasn't no, no, wasn't no drip for real. Wasn't no nothing. But yeah, man, we finna got down head over. What we going? What we going? Sex? We finna go to sex. Then we finna go get something to eat. You feel me? I don't know what all this vlog gonna consist of, but y'all coming along this journey with me. I guess y'all just gonna have to watch this shit unfold. Fuck you talking about? Nigga hey. say, whoa. I hate coming in Lennox because Y'all niggas be shooting this bitch up so much, so they can't even walk through here comfortably with a blick. What's wrong with y'all? They gotta walk through the cuts and shit. They gotta, they gotta duck and dodge and shit. Got down, walk through all the goddamn back ways and shit. Y'all niggas annoying. Say, man, three years ago, you could walk through Lennox Mall with your blick on your, on your side, in your pocket. Now you can't even come in this bitch one. I am, though. Fuck you talking about. Nigga, that sucking dick. Say it again, bird. <laughs> go, go, go. Go, go. <laughs> that boy, they're deep I ain't gonna count. The new skates go crazy. Especially the one with gems on them. Say, I got the brown ones. I ain't got the black ones or the blue ones yet. I gotta come get Steals of the day, man. Come in Neiman Marcus, get y'all 60% off because they're going out of business. $647 red bottle. Yeah, I mean, that shit got to go. $650. Nigga say you can come get you some red bottoms for, for $200. Nigga say, hey, boy, you need to go out of business, man. If y'all folks in Atlanta, man, come to sex, everything's 60% off because this bitch finna close. <laughs> say these folks done ran out of juice, man. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, these, these $100. <laughs> yeah, nigga, this shit is free. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this shit is terrible, bro. Who told Versace to come up with this? Yeah, that shit is fucking horrible. Oh, look, another pair of red bottoms. 60% off. what they say? $500. Yeah. Hey, man, if y'all, I'm telling y'all, if y'all in Atlanta, man, come to your nearest sex fifth in Atlanta, it is closing down and going out of business. Everything's 60% off. Clothes and shoes. He said, and he said, oh, here, for my hood niggas, man, 345. Say 345 for the hood niggas. 345, 60% off, that shit gotta be like $75. Oh, we got another pair. $75 for the Alexander McQueen, is crazy. I ain't gonna lie, bro. 
Nah, all jokes aside though, if y'all trying to get some cheap designer, bro, Saks Fifth in Atlanta is shutting the fuck down. Everything is 60% off clothes and shoes, man. Y'all folks gonna grab y'all something, man. Especially if you're trying to get your first pair of designer shoes and you ain't really got the bread for real. This shit dead ass gotta be like $75. It's so crazy because I seen the outfit for these, but I've never seen the shoes. These shits are ass. These shits dead ass gotta be like $80, bro. You doing for the cut? No, hell no. No, like, the, the, half off, the half off price is the price in which color? Oh, I'm, oh, I'm on the same. Boy. This is what? 60% off, nigga. This nigga think and it's 60% off of the price in the shoe. No, yeah, this is the 60%. I want to say, God damn. No, this is the 60%. Yeah, no. Yeah, these rap on Bro, look, it's multiple pair of these. Hey, man, all the rib on there are 500. Ew, just sepies. It's so crazy, bro. I've never really seen nobody rock just They got the face in the bottom. These motherfuckers, Casper. 575. The face in the bottom. Hello. Ew, what these is? Y'all seen Gabbana freaky as hell, bro. My mama. Nigga, this croc shoe. Whatever the fuck, that shit freaky. <laughs> this some shit Nico with. Nah, nigga, that's some shit Nico that boy said, that boy said, that boy said, that boy said rabbit, <laughs> rabbit fur shoe. Let me tell y'all, bro. I don't know why they put light colored shoes on display because all these niggas with their dirty ass hands in Atlanta be coming touching these hoes. Nigga, look at this shoelace. <laughs> But these shit, these shit look like, these shit like some, a nigga done fingered the fuck out of with some oil on their hands. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna count though, bro. Lambins is a weird looking shoe, bro. Oh, like, they fucking ugly, if, your, bro. if your feet not small, bro, these shoes look weird. And why do we have a natural curve in the toe? <laughs> bro, bro, I'm talking about your toes don't even touch the flow, though. That's crazy, dude. You can't get on so much bitch match designer. Who pieced this fit together? Bro, got, put that bro shit got Lambin, Burberry. Non name brand khaki slacks with fucking Valentino. My nigga right here. My nigga right here. This is a freaky ass fit, bro. Come. He's Fendi, a he's a dad Fendi, for sure. Fendi Fendi fucking man jorts with the what the fuck is on his feet? I don't Dutch and Gabanas. It's not true, man. Bro, with with it. a fucking Louboutin man pouch, nigga. This outfit freaky as fuck. It's not true, man. <laughs> It's that dad swag, man. Who got straight dad? 40-year-old dad Bro, swag the dad. fucking jorts, nigga, with the Fendi shirt. Bro, Atlanta weather is so trash, my nigga. Right, what the fuck is this? It smells like rain, but it, the sun is shining. Nigga say, <laughs> nigga say it's cloudy as fuck with the sun all the way behind that shit beaming. Nigga, this shit like some Gotham City shit. Fuck. Hey, him and that don't hand stuff. that bitch ass nigga shit. Hand you some stuff. Don't hand that bitch ass nigga shit. Got these pig Latin. Bro, don't hand that bitch ass nigga shit. This. I fucking hate when niggas say use pig Latin like they don't like, know what like, the like, fuck that is. Like, 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 like you not just create like you not just taking the first letter, putting it at the end, and adding that Y. Like nigga, this ain't rocket science. <laughs> 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 stupid ass nigga. Nigga thought she was on the song. <laughs> niggas be on the phone speaking in pig Latin. They don't. They'll never know what I said. Now when bro used to say speaking pig Latin, bro, I was like, bro, that shit doesn't mean nothing. But okay. <laughs> that shit like, don't mean nothing. Oh no, nah, I still okay. use I still use the shit, but it's like, bro, it's it's pig Latin, my nigga. They know what that shit is, nigga. Nigga, they drop. invented the shit. The fuck? Huh? Coming back, grabbing that though. I ain't pass you shit. I wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you send it? Oh, okay. I wait. He said, "Well, excuse me then." Yeah, let me put this back away. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, excuse no, me. No, 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 I ain't no, 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 that boy said he was not rolling up. Sorry. Oh, roll. Shit. Not <laughs> <laughs> oh. I put some food on my belly. What the fuck? I'm hungry as hell. Rawr. Rawr. Uh oh. Okay. Ooh. Uh -oh. Bro, that's it's a 340i. It's not even a fucking M series. Bro, why do niggas be acting like this, bro? Yeah, you got that bitch tuned. That bitch snack. Bro, bro niggas be acting bad as hell, bro. That's not an M5. That's not an M3. That's not an M2. That's not an M4. It ain't even a 750M package. This nigga is pushing the fucking 230. I like that and bitch. He got it, and he got it tuned. Man, that nigga pushing that be like a bat out of hell. And that bitch burbling and popping and farting. That shit crazy. Ain't no reason in hell this base model ass BMW should be should be burbling, popping, and farting. That bitch farting, queefing. Boom, 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 That nigga. Look at funny as hell. Red light, on God, like, I'm glad. I'm glad I need your random. Forgot the red light. <laughs>
That nigga in the them cameras there, don't you be and, and that nigga in the BMW driving like he got a purpose. Like, bro, where are you trying to go, bro? That nigga going to the crib. This nigga main <laughs> road on Buckhead going 120. That nigga's going to the house. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, man. Hey, man. I'm sorry. Hey, man. Say, man. So the, so the, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, this building kind of hard, but they still don't have as much glass as me. I have yet to find a building that has as much glass as my shit, bro. It look nice, though. It do look nice. It's just like damn. It's, kinda, it's still a downgrade. What is that? How many floors? Is that? Hey, like, man. Like Twenty floors. Niggas say, niggas say, I'm, <sighs> I'm really finna go apartment shopping again in like nah, the next twelve months, p. Floors. Finna go penthouse shopping again in like the next 12 months, man. I'm trying to find someone with more glass, bro, and ain't I cannot shit, find it. Ain't that shit 12 flows? What? Not 12 flows, 20 flows. How many flows? 30? 25. 25? That shit can't be no 20 flows. That shit gotta be like 15. Yeah, that shit a little way shorter than my building on God. Two, three. Danny son beaming in my face like a motherfucker, boy. Hey, oof. Nigga, God I'm a wolf. Damn. I can Nigga, I'm a wolf. I can't. Ooh, this loop it up. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga just howl. Oh god. Sassy so nigga lifestyle, sassy nigga season. <laughs> that nigga say, get, get up out of way. No, get up out of the way. Sassy nigga lifestyle, sassy nigga season. Nigga, I'm a fucking fucking. 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 Nigga, I'm a fucking I went in there one time and the bitch tried to charge me fifteen hundred dollars for a pair of nine hundred dollars shoes and I was like, yeah, see you later. Oh god. Fuck you talking about. They don't be having shit in there. Fuck you talking about. Y'all nigga had a lot of y'all rabbit ass mind. How dare you think you gonna tax me? I might have to double back on sex though. They got that shit on sale for real. Hell yeah, I told you folks. I was talking shit, I might have to double back. I told y'all I ain't going shopping today, but I was window back. shopping today, yeah, so so when I come back, I'm going on a spree. Everything I, all I was doing today was looking to see what I want to buy. So when I come back, I could go straight in the mall, go straight to what I want to get, pick that shit up, and leave. You feel me? Want to get his I eight peel off? So yeah, man. Like I said, man, I might have not did no shopping today, but he got the orange I eight with the doze up. He trying to get his. Shit with the I might have not did no shopping today, but next week when I do this shopping vlog, I already done seen everything I need to see. Finna come straight in, and cash out, p. If that nigga say nigga I'm a wolf for how one more fucking time? No, <laughs> hey man, we finna go get some Chick Fil A, man. I'll get back to y'all when we at CFA. Until then, deuces. All right, y'all. So as we can see, we is back at the crib, man. I forgot to cut on the camera when I was eating and stuff like that. I mean, it really don't matter because I ain't gonna get nothing major. Anyways, I went and got Chick Fil A, but. Shout out to Chick Fil A, man. They fed the kid for the day, you know all that good stuff. But man, I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog, man. I told y'all I'm trying to be more consistent. If y'all can't tell, I've been posting a lot more than I usually have, bro. Uh, and the main reason for that is like, bro, I'm gonna explain something, bro. Like, the whole point of me starting this vlogging situation was really because I didn't have no hobbies, and it was like a way for me to like show people what I do on a day to day basis, and really just like have memories for me to look back on when I get older, bro. But I never knew that I would build a fan base, or not even a fan base. I really call y'all a family base because y'all is my family, if anything. But like, I really didn't expect people to look up to me or be inspired by me, bro. To everybody that's motivated or inspired by me, thank y'all, bro, because y'all are like the main reason I do this, bro. When I don't have nobody else to talk to, when I be at my lowest, when I don't have no motivation, like I. Can hop on live make a video real quick bro and y'all remind me the reason why i do the shit that i do bro because it's people that's actually looking up to me bro and at the end of the day bro like i said bro to anybody that looks up to me bro anything is possible bro i do all of this and i vlog every day just to show y'all the elevation of me as a person like you go look at my first video i was staying in a regular apartment i had my license taken i didn't have no car i really was starting from ground zero basically all over again and as y'all can see, bro, like, I went and got a car again, got my license again, I moved into a penthouse out of my regular apartment, bro, like, anything is possible, bro, and it's crazy, because I'm nowhere near where I want to be, bro, I'm still elevating, I'm still growing as a person, and it's more stuff to come, bro, but I'm just glad that y'all keep me motivated, bro, and as long as y'all keep wanting this, and y'all keep, like, pushing me, I'm gonna keep giving y'all what y'all want, because at the end of the day, bro, none of this will be possible without y'all, bro, because it, I, I remember times when I had nobody, not even family, giving me motivation, and the people would DM me telling me like bro just keep going bro so shout out to y'all as a family man and everybody that like watches my videos bro like I said man I ain't gonna turn this into no long warm 
hearted speech or whatever y'all want to call it man but shout out to the people that watch my videos and really support me man if y'all is still tuned in right now man y'all know comment ghost family in the comment section man i hope y'all enjoyed the vlog man we got more to come i got more shopping videos coming more day-to-day -day vlogs just more consistent content so i could keep on doing what i need to do as an influencer and keeping this in front of y'all face and showing y'all bro like the lifestyle I'm living, bro, is possible, bro. I remember when I had nothing and I was sleeping on the couch every day in my grandparents' house. I remember working a regular job, going to a job every day. When I get out of high school, from the time I was in ninth grade to the time I graduated, bro, to be able to be where I'm at now and do everything that I do for myself and my family, bro. And mind you, I ain't doing half of what I want to be able to do, bro, but it's just crazy to see how much is possible when you really just lock in and put your mind to some shit, bro. So, man... Like I said, thank y'all, man. Y'all keep tuning in, man. Keep watching my videos. Y'all folks know what to do. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And look, Casper, see y'all again in the next video.